Also have breaking news now from the state capitol this hour. A long fight for medical marijuana has ended after Governor Tate Reeves signed the bill into law today. Well, Charles, this is Kayla Thompson spoke to advocates and business owners about this win today. We've been through so much over the past year and a half. Angie Calhoun says she's excited that Senate Bill 2095 is now law, and she believes that patients won't have to wait long for the alternative medicine they need. I know that Dr. Dobbs and his staff, you know, they're they're working to to make that happen as soon as possible. Advocates say they were disappointed by the way things went with Initiative 65, but felt this time around things were different, and now look forward to the economic boost it will bring. We see in other states that have just medical program um, that those economic benefits are great. Um, it's estimated two of every three dollars that is generated in the cannabis industry cycles back into the community. Now the question is which companies want to participate. So we're still looking to do more partnerships and that's not just for me. Let me be real clear. This is about the economics of Mississippians being able to get on the ground floor of something that's going to be massive just from looking at other states and the financial wherewithal that comes with that. So this is not so much. Now that it has become law, advocates, business owners, and patients are glad to end the long battle for this program. In Jackson, Kayla Thompson, 12 News.